The Zips volleyball team's first game against Central Michigan University was certainly an exciting one to watch. Although it may not look like it right now, the Zips were able to keep this series very close. The amount of blocks and spikes in this game were honestly insane. In the first set, Jen Dura led the Akron Zips with three kills. Of the 15 points that the Zips scored in the first set, 10 of them came from kills. Unfortunately, that wouldn't be enough for the Zips as they fell in the first set to Central Michigan, 15 to 25. Unfortunately, the Zips continued to struggle in their second set of this series. The second series is where we really begin to see where all those blocks came from. But look at this beautiful play right here, with the block turned into a spike for a score. That's just the result of some great reflexes by the Akron Zip. Unfortunately, later in the second half is when CMU started to run away with it. CMU would go on to win Series 2 with a score of 25-18, to 18, putting Akron at an 0-2 deficit. Although it didn't look like it in the start of the third set, this is where the Zips would find life in the series. It was beginning to look like CMU was going to take control of this set as well, until a little bit short of the half, Akron finally figured it out. Beating the charge for the Zips this set was Megan Kelly, who was responsible for four and a half points this set. Not to mention the block just kept on coming throughout this set. Soon enough, the Zips found themselves in the driver's seat with a score of 18 to 12, a whole six point lead. DMU almost came back, but the Zips took that set 25 to 20. The Zips had no plans of slowing down in the fourth set. That loss in the third set was also a wake-up call for CMU who came out fighting. And as you can see, the blocks did not stop at the end of the third set. The fourth set was certainly a nail-biter. In fact, it was the most exciting set of the game. Both teams just refused to let up, each one scoring to match the other. Akron reached 25 points first, however, they needed to win by two to take the set. CMU wouldn't let up though. Every time Akron scored, CMU would immediately follow up. Fortunately, the Zips were able to score 28 to CMU 6 off of a missed spike. The Zips were officially back in it, tying the series 2-2. Two two. Unfortunately, CMU had finally woken up and realized that they were in danger of losing this game. Unfortunately for the Zips, the final series is only played to 15, and before the Zips even realized it, CMU had scored 15 on them. It was a great effort for the Zips, no matter how you spin it. Reporting for the ZTV Sports Report, I'm Dante Tolsdorf.